What do you seek? I have come to ask for your help, Deirdre. A group of guards captured young natives and turned them into slaves. But now they want to get rid of them to avoid drawing attention to themselves. I want to free them and stop these guards. But we will need support from warriors. Who is to say this is not a trap? These prisoners are to become slaves in the cities and on the continent. They would be far from their land, forced to obey the orders of the Renaixe, no matter what they are. Treated as objects instead of people. The Renaixe consider everything as objects. Trees, animals, even people. I'll help you catch those monsters. And I hope they'll be treated like objects too. The prisoners are in a former logging facility near San Mateus. I know where it is. The Renaixe massacred the forest there. We will get rid of the guards there and release the prisoners. But if any soldiers are sent to kill them thereafter, can we rely on you to intervene? I will send you my two best warriors. I can't give you any more right now. They will find you where the forest has suffered. Anything more? I need to be going. Gwawal em seg. Here is the logging facility. The prisoners must be in that cabin. No one passes. I will pass without your permission. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! To my health! And death to the others! You're free. Thank you. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. It was Sergeant Franz who told us where to find you. Franz? So he kept his word. I had hoped he would. Stay hidden here for now. We will set a trap for the people who captured you. Then we will fight by your side. They will pay for what they have done to us. No. You're in no condition to fight. It's better that you stay here. When we are done with them, you can return home. Thank you for coming to lend us a hand. I'm surprised. Deirdre said that she would only send two warriors. She told Esseld your story, and we wanted to come. Young people from our clan have been captured, and we believe they are here. When Xavier also sent a warrior for the same reason. We are most grateful for your help. Thanks to you, we can stop those who captured them. You're there. 
Were you able to get rid of the guards? Yes, and we have released the prisoners. But there are still others that we have to defeat. I see you've managed to bring allies. With them, we have every chance of winning. Ermelind and her troops shouldn't be long. You should take position. Anything to report, Sergeant Franz? Negative, Lieutenant. Everything is quiet. Where did the guards go? I don't know. How can you not know? Hey, what's going on? A bit of poison on my brain. Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Your brother. Yeah. 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 You will pay for what your brothers have done. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! We got them. Make sure Lieutenant Ermelind is shackled and brought back to San Mateus. She will probably be sent to New Serene to be interrogated by Manfred. She has a lot to teach us about Egon. I hope she can help you put an end to all of this. Can we all go home now? Yes. We will escort you. Breg, it's thanks to you that I realized what we were doing. I hope you'll forgive me one day for being one of those monsters. In the meantime, I will do everything I can to help stop this smuggling for good. You are a better man than you think, friends. When you're finished, return and see me at Wen Xavier. We will be glad to see you again. We should go. Let's report to Quartermaster Herbert. Your Excellency, I was told you had returned with prisoners. Yes. Lieutenant Ermelind organized the slave trade on behalf of the organization I told you about. Her men captured natives who were then sold here or smuggled to the mainland. We also found out that they commandeered a naught ship to speed things up. What madness. I guess Manfred will want to have her questioned. Lieutenant Alexander, you will accompany her with some men. Quartermaster, at your orders. And you, Sergeant. I understand that you participated in the despicable actions of this traitor. It's true, Quartermaster. I recommend clemency. Without his help, we would not have discovered what this was about. I see. You will accompany Lieutenant Alexander. Manfred would like to talk to you. But I will make sure that he knows what role you played in this case. Thank you, Quartermaster. Well, I'll let you get on, sirs. Thank you very much for your help, Your Excellency. Travel safe. Well, things seem to be in order here now. We should go and warn Manfred.
A lawyer, Excellency. What can I do for you? I was able to clarify the story about the ship, and we arrested the person in charge. I've already been told all this. Lieutenant Alexander came before you did. He told me the whole thing, and he didn't fail to tell me everything we owe you. I have already sent a letter to the Admiral explaining what happened and offering reparations. I hope she will forgive us. Anyway, I thank you very much. Once again, you have worked wonders, Your Excellency. We couldn't have done anything without Sergeant Franz. He showed admirable courage. I imagine he's joined your forces. <sighs> that doesn't ring a bell. I don't think a sergeant by that name is stationed here. Hmm, strange. It seemed to me that Quartermaster Herbert told him to come and find you. Well, well, perhaps he changed his mind. With this business going on, he must be sorely lacking in men. Anyway, know that our investigation has finally paid off. Lieutenant Alexander arrested many criminals with information obtained from prisoners. You should go find him. He's with Captain Ulrich. Captain Ulrich? The highest ranking captain in the garrison. He's an old man who was not often found in the field. But faced with such a scandal, he had to intervene personally. Thank you, Manfred. I'll go find them. This arrest is good news. Let's find the captain. Ah, Your Excellency. I was talking about your exploits to Captain Ulrich. Your Excellency? Captain, Lieutenant. Quartermaster Manfred informed me that you had made several arrests. Indeed. Lieutenant Ermelind confessed, which enabled us to flush out most of the gang. I can't quite believe that all the arrested men are involved in this case. I know many of them and could have sworn they were honorable people. I'm sorry, Captain. I understand. It's a shock. We were all sure that our comrades would never be involved in this kind of thing. Will you continue the investigation? Of course. We can't stop our research until we've completely dismantled this organization. Lieutenant Alexander was asking me to transfer him to New Serene, to be a part of the investigation there. Uh, to manage it. If you allow it, my captain, I was honored to participate in the interrogations of Lieutenant Ermelind and to be able to arrest all these criminals. I would not want to leave things half finished. As I told you, Lieutenant, I can't approve the transfer of an officer from another garrison. I must refer to the commander. In any case, we're most grateful for your help. But we can now bring this investigation to an end without you. I see. What goes on in the guard is the guard's own business. It's a bit like that, yes. We can't let the actions of a small group compromise the reputation of the whole guard. Hmm. You forget, once again, that you have not yet obtained your transfer, Lieutenant. In the meantime, please be dismissed. At your orders, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. This brazen Lieutenant is bordering on insubordination. I'm sorry you had to hear this call to order. This lieutenant is inclined to forget who he's speaking to. It must be the enthusiasm of youth. It's possible. In any case, and contrary to what he said, we will still need your help. Why is that? Lieutenant Alexander claims that Ermelin's confession allowed him to arrest all these men. But I attended one of these interrogations, and all she talked about was a secret camp. The one in which Torsten's recruits received their special instruction for the coup d'etat. A place I remember all too well. I'm sure, Kurt. And I'm sorry for that. If I understood correctly, this place was taken back and used by the criminal organization. But our lieutenant did not mention it, which surprised me and led me to doubt his sincerity. Perhaps Alexander failed to report it to increase his prestige later. But he could have another motive. So you would like us to go there? Indeed. And I'd like to accompany you. I am no longer a field officer, but I still know how to hold my own. 
and I want to see this case with my own eyes. You know the place, so you will be my guide. Very well, Captain. You can count on me. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will get going right away. Will you come with me? Yes, I'm ready. Let's hurry. We're almost there. How would you like to proceed, Captain? By the book. We'll go through the whole camp, neutralizing any threat. I've been waiting for you. I took the opportunity to look around the place. There are some soldiers in the camp. No doubt members of this criminal organization. This must be Egon's hideaway. Smart move. As this camp had been dismantled, we had no reason to return here. And Lieutenant Alexander never reported that Ermeland mentioned this place. How should we proceed? We will have to secure the three outer courtyards before entering the barracks. We can't risk being flanked. It's blocked. Sergeant Franz. Oh, poor man. He paid dearly for the help he gave us. He was beaten to death. Quartermaster Herbert ordered him to accompany Lieutenant Alexander to answer Manfred's questions, but he never made it to New Serene. I was sure that the Lieutenant was not genuine. He must be involved. This document talks about eliminating the witnesses to the case. Manfred and us are definitely on that list. It looks like poison. A bit of poison on the brain. Let's 
Let's go! Green blood, my... Do you need... I must leave you. Lieutenant Klaus, so you are part of this disgusting plot. Lay down your weapons, Lieutenant. Any resistance is futile. Your troops have been decimated. I will not surrender, Your Excellency. Death is sweeter than the price of treason. If you speak, we will be lenient. You, maybe, but Egon, I doubt it. Farewell. He's poisoned. The plague. I'd have liked to have questioned that traitor. There are still traitors in this camp. We should eliminate all of these vermin. These letters are signed by Egon. We must go to the office of the leader of these criminals. We could study the handwriting to find out who's behind this pseudonym. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Let's see if we can ward off this fight! Then let's go!
did a good job, Your Excellency. Egon will never come back from a hit like this. Certainly. But we know that there are still criminals amongst your troops, including their leader. We know that Lieutenant Alexander is involved in all this. The sergeant's body, and the fact that he didn't tell us about this camp, are telltale signs. Perhaps he will be able to provide us with a lead. Otherwise, we still have these letters. Remember that we are targets. Just like Manfred, we will have to stay alert. You are right. Let's get back to New Serene as soon as possible. You will hand over the evidence to Quartermaster Manfred and assure yourself of his safety. I will go and ask our insolent lieutenant for an explanation. Your Excellency, I wasn't sure I'd see you alive again. How did you know we were here? Did the captain tell you? He was arrested while coming back here. Lieutenant Alexander said he was finally reported by his accomplices. That lieutenant has some nerve. We know he's involved. We found the body of the sergeant who was to accompany him here. He got rid of him to punish him for helping us, or to stop him from revealing more. We also found this document saying that everyone who knows about the case should be eliminated. You're in danger. And they've already found a way to get rid of the captain. Most of the men who are loyal to him are in jail. I can't do anything without help. I've been trying to get the commander. If anybody can restore order to all of this, she can. Here, take this evidence and show it to her. Alas, there's nothing in there that clearly indicates who Egon is. The recent actions of Lieutenant Alexander suggest that he is the brains behind this operation. And we only have to compare his handwriting with these letters to be sure. I'm going to join the commander, but you should intervene. I'm afraid he'll get rid of the captain. The sir, your excellency. What a joy to see you again. We finally stopped Egon. The captain will be happy. Naturally. 
And that is why you are surrounded by the men I apprehended. We visited your secret camp and found the body of poor Sergeant Franz, who in spite of his death, continues to betray you. You are a member of this organization, Lieutenant. And when we compare your handwriting to the letters we have seized, it wouldn't surprise me to discover that Egon is none other than you. We prepared a discreet death for you, worthy of your uncle's court, little poison. And our troublesome diplomat would have been out of the way. But since you leave us with no choice, finish them. It'll be a real pleasure. Finally, our revenge has come. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! To my help! And death to the others! Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Let's see if you can ward off this faint! I need healing! Move away! Things are about to No! 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 Why did you have to stick your nose in our business? If you had not been so careless, so eager to get rich and climb to the top, maybe we would never have discovered your operations. Surrender, Alexander. Unless you prefer Egon. Let me go! I could make you rich. I doubt that the commander would find that arrangement acceptable. Wretches! I've been waiting to put this pathetic scoundrel in a hole for a long time. May I? Be my guest, Kurt. <laughs> Your Excellency, Lieutenant Alexander was court-martialed and will soon be executed. You have my gratitude, Your Excellency. Without you, this assassin would have probably strangled me in prison. Manfred gave me all the evidence you gathered and told me about the case. I'm just sorry he didn't tell me about it sooner. My apologies, Commander. But you've been so busy since starting your new position, I never thought the case would be so big. Be that as it may. The high-ranking culprits have been punished, and the foot soldiers will be sent back to the continent. A few months on the front should bring them back to reality. We owe you so much, Your Excellency. Without you, the Guard would probably be nothing more than a band of brigands. I am extremely grateful. I will not forget what you did for us. Don't mention it, Commander. <laughs>